What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name's Jeff and on today's episode we're going to be talking about those annoying little cracks that you get on the surface of stamped concrete. We're going to be going over why it happens, uh, how we can avoid it, as well as a few ways to fix it up just in case it happens to you. So stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So for those of you guys who've been pouring concrete for a while, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. If I say that the surface of the concrete that you just poured is starting to get crusty and nasty and hard to work with. Now, for those of you guys who have stamped concrete, you know that this takes it to a whole nother level. And when you push a, you know, a concrete stamp down through that crusty surface, man, it just something has got to give and it usually ends up um, coming out in those little tiny cracks. So the reason why this happens, um, you know, and it's always the absolute worst in the springtime, in the fall, when, you know, the temperatures are cool at night and then the sun comes out and the temperatures come up during the day, a little bit of wind just makes this whole problem even worse. So what's happening is, you know, we're gonna dump that concrete out on the ground and, you know, in order for us to get, uh, to avoid those little cracks, what we need to have happen is we need to stamp that concrete before that crust starts to form. And in these kind of conditions, spring and fall, cold at night, warm during the day, I'm just telling you, it's gonna be really, really hard to avoid this without adding something to your concrete. Now in the summertime, you know, you guys might have noticed this doesn't happen as bad and that's because that whole slab is just setting up pretty fast in the surface and uh, you know what's underneath of it, they just kind of go together. Now, how can we uh, create this same thing in the kind of conditions where the cracking just happens like, happens like crazy? Well, honestly, the first thing we need to do is to add accelerator to our concrete. Now, I know this can seem pretty insane that we're gonna add accelerator to concrete when the sun's gonna be out and it's gonna be 60 degrees today. Uh, but I'm telling you, if you guys have never tried non-chloride accelerator, this works really, really well for this. I mean, honestly, if you're pouring stamped concrete, non-chloride is pretty much all you should be using anyways. But non-chloride is not nearly as potent as calcium is, and it's just going to make this a lot more friendly for you. So just adding, you know, maybe 1% non-chloride on these days, what it'll do is it'll speed up that bottom so that that top uh, doesn't get away from you. Because again, if the bottom line is if you push stamps through that crusty surface, it's just gonna crack up every single time. So uh, additionally, for, uh, after that, sometimes, you know, you got some accelerator in the concrete, everything is, uh, you've done everything you can to this point, but you, you notice that as you're finishing it, uh, it, that top is just still getting away from me and it's getting hard to work with. And that's is where, you know, spraying something on that surface is gonna help a ton. So there's a couple different things we can use here. If you're doing, if you colored your concrete with color hardener, honestly, uh, this control finish right here works really, really well because we can use that to help float our color hardener in, but it also is gonna retard just a little bit of that surface and it's just gonna keep that a lot more pliable. And again, the whole idea is to keep that stuff nice until the bottom is ready to get on the stamp. Now, if you're using integral color, honestly, something like this deco film is probably gonna work even better for you. It's what's known as an evaporation retardant. And you know, this isn't something you're gonna work in with a float, but it's something that you can just spray on that concrete right after you floated it for the first time. And it's gonna retain a lot of that moisture that's in the slab. I mean, honestly, an easy way to look at these two products would be finishing aid will add moisture to the surface, where an evaporation retardant is something that's gonna hold the moisture in. Now, for if you want a little bit more of detail on how to use these two products, uh, please check out Jason's Technique of the Week episode um, on these two things right here. So th the last thing we need to talk about is, is timing of finishing the concrete because, you know, we got accelerator in our mix. Uh, you know, everything's, is, we did as much as we could there. We're using some sort of finishing aid or evap retarder. We've done all we can do there, but there is still something to the timing of when you finish this concrete because if I'm, you know, 20 minutes away from being ready to stamp this slab and I go ahead and I still finish that concrete right now there, even though I did all this other stuff, there's a really good chance that within after that 20 minutes, that surface is gonna crust over again and I kind of did all that stuff for nothing. So this is really, really important in these kind of conditions is to finish that concrete right before you're ready to stamp. And what that'll do is it's just gonna give you the best chance to get on there and now your bottom's setting up and your top is right where you want it. 
Now again, just keep in mind, this is for spring and fall conditions. I would never tell somebody to put accelerator in their concrete uh, when it's warm at night and it's gonna get really hot today, so please don't do that. But having one of these things on the job, either control finish um, or you know evaporation retardant, this is something that you would do also in the summertime because these cracks don't happen as bad in the summer, but they can still happen. And you know, using one of these products is gonna help you out a ton, um, not only for the surface, but just to have your whole concrete slab come out with way better impressions. Now, there are some times uh, when that concrete just isn't cooperating right with you. We all know how this goes. You guys been pouring concrete, you know that things never go just exactly as planned. We can do everything we can to avoid it, but there are jobs that we still get a few of those little cracks, and so it is important to know how to fix these things up. Before we get into that, it is important to understand that those little surface cracks on the tile, right on the surface of that stamped concrete, those are not structural cracks. That's not going all the way down through the slab. They're literally this deep, and it's just that very, very surface is cracking. So it's important uh, for you guys to understand whether you're a contractor, whether you're a homeowner who's looking into stamped concrete, uh, that the, this is uh, one of those things that does happen. And a couple of those things around here, they're not gonna hurt anything. Those cracks are never gonna get any worse. They're not structural. This is all purely uh, an aesthetic thing. So it's up to you how far you wanna take this, how many of them you wanna to try to fix. My advice is if this happens really, really bad in a job, I would spend some time fixing this up. Now, the first thing we can do, and this is the easiest way of fixing these little things, is just this little ball peen hammer right here. I mean, honestly, if you've never tried this, you will be incredibly surprised how many of those annoying little cracks that you can take away with using just this. Now, all we're gonna do is just take this ball peen hammer, we're gonna use the round end of it, and we're just gonna kind of tap right on and around those cracks, kind of in a motion that would sort of, you know, close it up. And you know, this is something that you do need to do the next day. This isn't gonna work you know, two or three days later in the summertime. This is probably only gonna work the next morning. So there is a limit to how long this will work for, but my advice is right after you get done washing because you kinda want the surface to be uh, wet so you can see these and fix them better is just go ahead and hit as many as you can right away. That way it's done. Now, if you, uh, let's say then, you know, after a couple days, you realize you missed a couple, or maybe, um, you know, there was a couple of them you weren't able to close up with that hammer, the next step would be uh, some sort of color hardener or some sort of slurry to, uh, to patch it in after it's all said and done. Now, if you use color hardener to color your slab, man, this is really easy because all you gotta do is just run it through this little sifter here, uh, you know, to sift, get out the, the big particles of sand, and then we can just mix this up with water. We can rub it right down into those little cracks and then just take a, a damp rag or a sponge, wipe over it, and that's just gonna kind of clean everything up and that will completely fill those cracks up and they will be uh, repaired at that point. Now, if you use an integral color, this is gonna be a little bit tougher because you're gonna have to try to make a colored slurry that's gonna match the color of the concrete. And you can go about this a variety of ways. Uh, you could you know, just grab a micro topping or some sort of concrete patch, add a little bit of color to it. Um, or you could use a color hardener, you know, a few different colors of color hardener and mix them together to get the shade you want. So you're gonna have to spend a little bit of time getting your color right, but it will definitely work. So all these things we talked about here are just in an effort to create the best stamped concrete we can create. Uh, but again, just make sure that uh, when you're using accelerator and the temperatures are gonna be warm that day, just make sure you use non-chloride and work with your local ready mix plant and just make sure you let them know uh, what you're doing beforehand. When it comes to fixing these things and patching them up, yeah, that's just gonna take a little bit, little bit of experience. So you're just gonna have to try some of this on a job. And believe me, after you do this enough, it'll be like second nature and you guys are gonna be fine. Well guys, that's pretty much it for today's show. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch these videos. Man, I just can't tell you how much it means to us for all the support that you guys show to our channel. You know, turning in every week, always hitting that like button, that is huge to us. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure you hit the little subscribe button for us. And if you are, just don't forget about that bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And it does really help our channel out. Please leave us a comment if we missed anything in this video or if you have any questions about those little annoying little cracks that come on the surface of your stamped concrete. So from all of us here at DecoCrete TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.